Hello everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Amir Sen Ahri. I'm a Google Earth Engine expert. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can calculate the area of each class for the classified maps in the Earth Engine platform. Let's go to the Earth Engine code editor environment. So, first of all, identify your region of interest, or you can draw it by the drawing tools available here. So, I'm gonna select a part of my own country to calculate the area of each class separately. So, for example, I'm gonna select a part of northwest of Iran because a variety of classes available here, cropland, water, grassland, and urban areas, and so on. So, using drawing rectangle, make a drawing rectangle here, just like that. So, in the next part, using map.focus, using map.center object, I want to have focus on my study area when the code runs. So, in the next step, we need to call a satellite image through the search places and dataset. In this tutorial, I'm gonna call or use MODIS land cover products available in Earth Engine with 500 meter special resolution and it's available since 2001 with annual frequency it's very very helpful for the land cover for the land cover monitoring and also including valuable classes so throw the search places and data set just need to write modis land cover when you write it here modis land cover type Yearly global 500 meter is available. Import it into your code. So make a new variable, for example, modis equals to, then assign image collection to the variable. Image collection assigned to the variable, just like that. If you go to the data description in under the bands, you can see that a variety of classes or variety of uh, strategies for the classification of variety of maps are available under modis land cover maps but use uh, most of the time or typically we use lc type 1 or lc type 2 based on annual international geosphere biosphere program igbp classification standard actually these are different classification maps based on different uh, standards so to select LC type number one, copy its name and back to your code. Throw the dot select. We can select the LC type one from each available image during the time. So for the next step, I want to have, I want to make a mode for this classification map. I want to get mode of each class since 2001 to 2023 or 22 or any end dates that is available here because I want to see that which kind of land covers uh, mostly repeated in this area and uh, using the mode we can make a general land cover map that showing the uh, uh, that showing the uh, more stable or the most stable classes in our region over the last 20 years so through that mode we can get the mode of each pixel or mode of each uh, or mode of each classes separately so in this step now we have a classified map if you want to show it map.add layer will help us map.add layer inside the parentheses call modis image and then clip it based on the geometry you can set different visualiza visualization parameters that's all of them available in the data description for example go to the data description an example code is available for each data set here and also if you can see it here uh, the color palette and also the minimum and maximum values already stored here and just you can copy and paste it into your own code for example IGBP 
Land cover is a dictionary variable, is a variable including dictionary that inside the dictionary arguments explaining the characteristic of land cover maps uh, sorted and also explained very well. And here we can add it into your into the code, very simple, but uh, we need to call, we need to copy the whole variable. So just like that. And IGBP land cover visualization parameter is available here. And then uh, inside the, uh, actually make a parenthesis here and copy and paste the name of the variable for the visualization process and then all uh, and also if you check in the code you can see that when a variable including parentheses no need to repeat it again into the map.add layer so accordingly i remove the extra parentheses here and then the name of the layer in layer setting could be modis lc modis land cover and in order to uh, stop automatic visualization use i'm using false here so set the false at the end now run your code and code is running and after a few moments uh, through the layers part modis land cover is available and check it on and then you can see classified map that is available for this region. Variety of classes available here, such as grassland, cropland, built up area, and on and on it goes. But by the inspector, if you click on a part of the map, it only shows the code of each class. To know what each code means, just go to the data description, into the bands, under each standard, there is a table of description that's showing the name and color and the description of each classes. For example, class number 10 showing grassland. So, and you can find informations about each numbers, inform each numbers and each classes and explanation very well here. So, back to the code. And now you can see that, for example, the brown area is class number 12 back to the data description you will see that class number 12 in lc type number one could be croplands at least a uh, 60 percent of areas cultivated or of cropland so now our goal is to calculate the area of each class for the region to do this there are different methods helping us to get information about the number of classes and the number of pixels in each class and also get the area of each class it's very very simple without any uh, complexity and also it's not complicated at all and also don't worry about it and if you are if you do if you aren't a programmer don't worry in the earth engine everything is ready to use and you don't need to do uh, uh, program uh, and also you don't need to write a lot of codes or something like that it's very simple and using some simple functions you can get your information uh, and your the data that you need very simple so and accordingly now I want to uh, get the histogram of this area that's showing how many pixels available for each classes so using the print function here user interface chart image dot histogram you can see or access to the histogram of images that's showing uh, the size of each class by the number of the pixels but it is not the area so to do this we have modis first the image that we want get its histogram and the next the region that we want to see that how many pixels in this region that is geometry uh, incl uh, included for each class or available for each class and the pixel size is 500 meter because the spatial resolution is 500 meter 
So save your code and then run it. Code is running, chart is generating. After a few moments, you can see the chart for a chart of classes for this region. As you can see that we have a two-dimensional plot here that's a y-axis showing the number of pixels and the x-axis showing the number of classes. If you go to the if you go in deep here you can see that for example class number 10 that is grassland that I already showed you uh, included the most number of pixels available in this region and also the class now after this we have class number 12 showing the croplands or cultivated regions and the other classes information are available if you want to have access to the CSV format in the Excel file to do further processing just click on download CSV and then you can open it up into the Excel back to the code so but this is that is uh, the histogram is helpful because showing the size of each classes based on histogram now I know that the grassland uh, including uh, or uh, the grassland uh, contains the most number of the pixels and the biggest class in my area is the grassland and after the grassland cropland is the biggest class and here I can compare the size of classes but well, sometimes we need to have the area of each class separately for the further calculations so if you want to have area of each class it's very simple just make a new variable like this modis area by modis area I want to make an, an, an extra bands or a, an extra image for the modis data or for the map that's showing the area of each pixels earth engine dot image dot area dot pixel area helping us to make an image according to the size of modis data so and then I want to show the pixel values for this region that is area of that pixel according to the uh, square kilometer and by default it is uh, a square meter and if you divide it to 1 million uh, the square meter converted to a square kilometer and then in order to have modis next to the pixel area image I want to use that add bands by that add bands and then input modis here so and now if you print modis area you will see that in the right side we have an image with two bands one of them is area that is created by earth engine.image.pixel area and showing the area of each pixel based on a square kilometer unit and LC type number one is the classified map so then using chart technique we can plot the area of each class separately it's very very useful and simple technique so try with print user interface chart image by class chart image by class uh, in the description you can see that generates a chart from an image derived band values in classified region of that image this is uh, this is specifically used for the chart uh, for the classified map plotting so chart by class and variety of arguments available here some of them are necessary and some of them are optional so the modis area is the image that we need to add first but as modis area including two bands first we need to select the class band the band that's showing the classes and the band showing the area LC type 1 is that band showing the classes so with a string format write LC type 1 
just like that. And the region of the interest already drawn as geometry. And now we want to get the sum of area for each pixel. So we need to turn the reducer to sum. And scale should be 500 meter because the spatial resolution is 500 meter. Class labels and X labels showing the name of each classes. You can make a list including the name of classes and input it here or write it here. But as the, I don't have any information, or uh, uh, but here we don't have a list including these names. So you can remove it and just run your code. After a few moments, you can see that the chart of area is creating and here you can see that the number of classes and for example class number 10 with its area uh, in a square kilometer class number 12 with its color and also the its area with uh, based on a square kilometer is available and then you can download this plot uh, that download this plot in CSV format. It's very useful and as you can see the same pattern of histogram showing in the uh, class area just here we apply the area to the number of the pixels and we multiply them to each other to get the area of each class by very very simple programming technique in the Earth Engine platform. And just remember that this technique is unique and is same when you want to use uh, when you are working with different classified products. For example, when you use uh, different classified maps or sometimes if you produce your own classified map, you don't need to change anything in this code. Just first make a, a pixel a pixel area image next to the classified map and then use image dot by class chart uh, use a chart for image classes like this to get the sum or the uh, or the total number of the pixels and the area of each class by this technique and plot the class values very very simple and without any complexity so if you had any question in this regard feel free to reach me out by putting your comments under this video uh, and also the code uh, the code link is also available in the video description and also if you had any question uh, I'm welcome and I can help you to solve your issues in the Earth Engine platform. I hope you like it as much as we do. Thank you.